I am alone, just looking for peace of mind like the next American. I've always lived close to a big city, a small fish in a big pond scenario. I wasn't looking to be too big, rather just wanted to share my ideas in a big way. With dreams and ambition came a fight alongside. I was stuck in a hard place. I was accepting it couldn't end, but I was determined to get out of it. I took what I could get while I was determined to find my way out, believing it was temporary. Thinking a former difficult situation had ended and some peace and tranquility would come during a transition, I thought would be smooth. Well, something happened. It was sunny California, where the state is led by a one-party corrupt system. A state where the citizens of the major cities believe everything the mainstream media and Hollywood force feeds them. Believing every penny of taxes is accounted for, and that their politicians can never do any wrong, all pushed by their state-controlled news networks. I hardly had anyone at all in the assignment I was fortunately lucky to have. I never realized such a little bag of deformed human excrement could be such a pest. And there he was. He went by Lefty Luke. A traveling hippie later turned white collar was one of those people that believed in their heart they were superior because they were older, had many stories, and saw many things. He believed going with the flow, or the path of the least thinking, was his version of truth. Another speck of dust blowing in the wind, thinking that it all ends when he expired. Believing all the force-fed stories, cliches, and poems told, and everything in the main screen with pretty neon text and graphics, kept his soul in chains. The weather sure has been something lately. Raining one day, sunny the next day, and the climate deniers want to say there's no such thing as global warming. Ah. No change of thought, no thinking outside the box, but rather, our government scientists say, therefore it is stone eternally. I'll bet they don't believe in Darwin's truth about evolution either. Those that don't believe in Darwin have closed mind to true science and believe the Earth is only 6,000 years old. No sense of consideration when it came to care of others' time, but rather a response of phrases suggesting self-importance and self-entitlement. Say, uh, I left one of my hats on the seat. Would you be able to bring that by to me, please? Sure. As soon as I finish the next run, I'll drop it off. You, uh, couldn't just make it back real quick now to drop it off, huh? Uh, no. I have another pickup in five minutes and I'm almost there. God! A hard, stale stench of baby powder, leather, and dust from rags lingering, making everything described wholly as a glare of fluorescent lights causing a headache. A stiff, hard turd in your peripheral vision that couldn't be removed without consequence of one's loss of freedom. This is what you get when a country is almost near perfection in its triumph over fascism, but with the hypocrisy of the drunken fathers in the name of patriotism came a sect in the generation of boomers given in to their proclivities that attempted to change the Constitution. 